Welcome back to Car Crushers 2, everybody. And well, today, finally getting to it. And it is going to be, we're going to be putting all of our vehicles up against the time, the big old clock, and seeing what they do stock versus upgraded. Kind of like my time challenge series from the old Off Road Outlaws days. Man, I miss those days. I miss Off Road Outlaws. Wish that game didn't go the direction it was. But yep. Anyways, we are gonna be doing it on Let me get it. Island Circuit one lap. So currently we're unupgraded. So let's take this thing around the track. And what will we get for the first one? Also Remember, if you comment down in the comments below and you want your name on a vehicle, just let me know. And I will choose a vehicle to put you on. And what the heck just happened to the vehicle? It's freaking out. How oh, weird. Okay, just about around. Oh, that's going to deduct some time right there. And 46.63 is our time to beat upgraded. Okay, let me go upgrade this thing. Tree! Gotta love trees. I always aim for them. Oh, come on. Seriously, I can't start yet. What the heck is with you, game? Thank you. Okay, now this is the upgraded version, so let's see what it can do. And coming soon in the build series, I'm going to be aiming for class specific vehicles like high end F class vehicles, high end top tier vehicles. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, not this coming week but maybe next week after that I set it for 211 and I'm going 218 logic what will we get a 40.58 over the 46.63 stock Okay, that that's a decent time improvement, especially around a track Any amount of time is an improvement. So that's pretty good Well, I'll have to put that down on the time challenge And those of you from the offered outlaws side of things back then you'll remember that name So let me get the next vehicle So next is the race tractor also derby vehicles and the stunt vehicles will be included in this time challenge because it ain't against each other. It's just stock versus upgraded on that specific vehicle. So let's go down to one lap. This is going to be one long lap right here. So let's -a go. Probably speed it up for y'all. If I didn't, well. Uh, y'all are along for the ride. You know, I feel like they changed suspension in this game because it's like, it gives, it sways a lot more towards the direction you're turning. Well, depending on the direction you're turning, of course. So, yeah, fun. This is a long run.
and voila there we go um best lap 125.46 that was slow so well let's go get this thing upgraded one lap and here we go upgraded and let's go also some of these vehicles have been slightly retuned to just make them more useful also this thing is picking up the wheel a lot more now good gosh and 136 mile prior instead of the 87 we was getting before that's nice okay i'm kind of convinced it's picking up that wheel sometimes yes it is <laughs> that's actually quite cool Okay, I for sure know this one's got to be faster by a decent amount. And under a minute, a 57.04 compared to the 1 minute and 25 seconds stop that's quite a big improvement for a race style pretty nice so let's get on to our last vehicle if you hear any noise in the background just note that i can't really stop it because it's my brother playing with my cousins basically the ones that made me go missing for half of last year because yeah the same thing that's going on but i'm just pushing through and doing it anyways so let's get to the stock version of this time challenge and yes we chose the monster truck so let's go and yet again only 80 something miles per hour this is gonna be another long one so how's your day going Hope it's doing well. Yeah, fun. So, this gives me a good chance to talk about next week. Um, next week I'm going to be pretty much out of town, so it's either going to be a lot of pre-recorded stuff, or I'm going to be doing daily tasks on hill climb racing while I'm down there. I'm hoping to get some pre-recorded stuff done and ready for that, basically of builds on here. Maybe at least like two or three, and just fill in the gaps with hill climb racing because we do need to get into that one a little bit more and um and stuff so yeah fun hey well i mean at least we're three quarters of the way through and we're at a minute okay Come on, are you going to let the tractor beat you? Actually, no, the tractor in stock would have lost the race by a good three seconds. Okay, well, let's go get this thing into the upgraded form. Time trial. Hey, it actually let me do it first time that try. And here we go, upgraded version. Hey, I forgot the freaking spoiler. Oops, let me go get that right quick. And back with the spoiler. Let's go. And already sailing past the original top speed. Nice. One nineteen is our new top speed. Okay. Well, that isn't too bad, but I mean, it's not like I'm really gonna be taking this thing out on courses like this all the time. It's gonna be mainly in like stunt courses where you don't really need that top speed. Which is another thing I need to start specifying on the build videos and stuff. Eh, okay. Maybe build certain vehicles for certain tracks. Who knows? We'll see what we get to in the future. Hey, 
and the finish line's right around this corner. It doesn't look like we're going to get under a minute, so the tractor's got us in the upgraded state. And 102. Dang. Well, I mean, if I did some perfect tuning and fine tuning and adjustments, I could possibly get this thing under a minute, but it would take a lot. And again, like I said, this is not meant for that track anyways. This is going to be more meant for a stunt track where you're hitting a lot of jumps and not really hitting your true top speed all the time. So it'll probably be adjusted back down for that in the future. Maybe a rebuild video is needed for it. Who knows? But anyways, I'd say let's get to another build. But question is, what do we want to build today? I mean, you know, I've got some top tier vehicles. You know what? Let's go for this guy right here. Let's see. What do we want to do here? So we ain't going to rename it. No one's new has commented on a video to get put in as a name for one of these yet. Please comment. <laughs> so I say we make a high speed derby car. Even though we probably ain't going to use this thing too often. You know, that actually makes me think. Maybe we don't do this one. What's below that limit that I have? I hear you, stomach. You don't have to make that many noises. Okay, where where's that bus and original derby vehicle? Uh, is it like back up here? No, I think it's still down this way. Is it though? No, it, it has to be back up this way. But where? Where shall it be? Oh, right here. Okay, so th this bus right here marks um, the middle difficulty as the top vehicle of choice. So what do we got that's pretty high speed down here? Th that guy. Dang it, why do you... Why did you not pick him? This guy, that's not loaded. Okay. But this guy. So, what do we want to do with this? Maybe a little bit of that. You know, we've never built a drift vehicle in this game. Maybe we should do that someday. I kind of forgot about that. You know what? Surprisingly, that actually fits the vehicle and fits what I want to go for. So we're going to go aluminum, which it was actually already on. 30% polish. We'll maybe adjust the color in a second. And body. Maybe red. Not that red, though. And what does rough metal look like? You know, rough metal isn't too bad, actually, on this. We'll keep the outer as a the black. Which one? Yep, that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going for that one. What does rough metal look like on that? Yeah, I think we'll keep a little bit of a shine to it. And what's the third one? Oh, I'm going to do that. Just to continue the red going back. And we need to change that to rough metal. And we've got it, pretty much. We got our high speed derby vehicle set up and ready to go. Now we just need the plows, which actually that's a unique plow. It's got the wedge to it. And um, yeah, I think we need to do this. So what do we want to go for here? I think we'll go about 94% to start off with, and then we'll upgrade it and see what we got then. So, let's get this thing upgraded. Okay, so for one, I just did a mission points thing. Do we got any for 35? No, we do not, but we do have ones for 30, and I think we go for times two scraps. Go and get some of those in the thing. So, yep. And now I think we can actually upgrade a little bit too. 
Only bad thing is there ain't no watch my call it uh hey whatever it is there ain't no spoiler upgrades for this thing so yeah that's a little sad okay well there's the plow for it now we just need to upgrade this thing acceleration's a little down since we did what we did and you know what we can actually get this Voila. Unless you let's go ahead and spend some credits. I don't want to spend too much. So we'll go ahead and get turbo power. And we'll grind out these two right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Engine block. That will take us up quite a bit. And then you got brake tuning. So now we can actually mess with this. You know, I think we go to 205 because that gives us a nice solid 17 acceleration, which is pretty high for acceleration. Wow. Yeah, like I said, pretty high for acceleration. Now, Derby is an interesting thing, especially in this game, because for one, it's not just packing a punch. It has different game modes, so this vehicle would be ideal in terms of the fast ones where you got speed and hopefully it can pack a good punch and withstand a good punch i highly doubt the withstanding part and i really don't know too much about the actually dealing a punch with this one as well and i also changed the rims yeah i think i think i had a little bit of a better choice with these also it added eight eight parts to the vehicle the other ones actually took them away so basically what I'm meaning there is parts right here, right below the value. In the original rims that I had, it was just originally 5. And now we have 13. That's crazy. So yeah, I just decided to put those on it. And yeah, it turned out to, great, to be great. I'll have to definitely test this thing out later. And hopefully, I'll be able to put one of y'all's names on it in the future. Either that or I can go go ahead and sneak Elk's name onto this one. Hmm. Might just have to do that. It actually has his color scheme too. So it'd just be perfect. <laughs> eh, that's if he wants it. Okay, well, anyways. Hope you enjoyed today's video, everybody. It was a nice one. It was a fun one to make. And I think this one may have turned out to be decently long for once. I kind of want to start prioritizing above 10 minutes instead of like below 10 minutes in terms of car crushers hill climb racing it's a little harder to do that okay this thing cannot withstand a punch then again i just did run into my arch nemesis a uh, palm tree so yeah fun okay well adios everybody hope you enjoyed see you all next time where we'll probably put this one to the test in terms of the time challenge. Who knows? Super speed! Maybe it can take a punch. <laughs>